Okay, so it is December 22nd, and this is the plan. Today and tomorrow, we spend Christmas, the holidays, with my in-laws, and they will take care of Poe while we head out on Christmas Eve to California and visit the San Francisco Bay Area. Hope this is good. Hope I remember to vlog, and thanks for coming on the ride. Okay, so we are all packed up. Okay, here are all the gifts that we're bringing along with us. So we headed out to my in-laws in the late afternoon and of course got caught up in commuter traffic and holiday traffic. Let me give you a tour of Christmas at my in-laws. First, let me highlight the various sentimental trinkets and photos dedicated to the family. That's right, we have childhood photos of my husband with Santa through the years. And a few years ago, both Poe and I got added to the Christmas shrine. Poe, however, has a nice big photo here. And here we have my mother-in-law's Charles Dickens village, which I think is super cool. I love Christmas decorations. <laughs> just, got, just holding my phone. She's going to us saying, my parents are the same. Since we're flying out on Christmas Eve, we spent most of the 23rd opening gifts. In addition to more pole memorabilia, my mother-in-law got her a Nerf dog toy, so we went to a nearby field to try it out and give Poe some time running around in nature. Then we had a lovely dinner featuring my mother-in-law's signature baked ziti. The next day on Christmas Eve, we headed early to the airport since we like to give ourselves ample time before our flight and enjoy our United Club access. I've been dying to watch the movie Past Lives and was so excited to see it was available on the in-flight entertainment. Truly a 10 out of 10 movie. I then spent the rest of the flight reading The Night She Disappeared by Lisa Jewell. Even though I don't usually read mysteries, I'm really enjoying Lisa Jewell books. Now for some pretty aerial shots of my lovely mother state, California. Once we got to the family home, we did a quick run to Safeway, and you wouldn't believe how happy I get at a real grocery store. And then we ended Christmas Eve watching Home Alone with my mom. Merry Christmas! We started the day with a little egg and rice courtesy of mom and last minute gift wrapping for our Secret Santa gift exchange. Merry Christmas! I'm home in California. It's Christmas day and my family is just about to arrive. My brother is here already, and we're gonna spend my Christmas day with my side of the family. We just spent Christmas Eve and the day before, well, chat with my husband's family. We traveled during Christmas Eve, and then we were here with my mom last night, which was very nice. Usually we fly on Christmas day, straight into a family party, and that's a lot. But now we are well rested, and I'm waiting for my I'm waiting for my, oh, I think the dog. <laughs> I'm waiting for my niece's dog. Okay, she's here, bye. <gasps> Let me see you, you little it's doggy. She's wearing oh, a diaper. Oh, you have a little diaper? Hi, baby. Hi, Kelby. Oh, you're a baby. Yeah, you're a little one. Oh my 
god, I'm so excited. Okay. Calvi has gone to jail. Up to jail. Oh no. Oh no. Like any good Filipino party, we had a bunch of Asian food and special desserts. Before Secret Santa, we all posed for photos with my mom, a family tradition. I'm super glad I was finally able to be with my family for Christmas, and this visit really honed it in that I need to go back to coming home for the holidays. Wow. You know what that is? Okay. I got you the Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> so now you finally got Crocs. I know, we start with Crocs first. <laughs> After everyone left, we settled in with my favorite Christmas movie, A Charlie Brown Christmas. Yes, they do. <laughs> Look at that outfit. Okay. The next day, we visited Filoli Gardens, an estate on the unceded ancestral land of the Ramitush Ohlone. Even though it's not far from my family home, I'm embarrassed to admit that I never knew about the property until I was digging into Bay Area Reddit for ideas on things to do. The gardens are vast and the house, or should I say manor, is lavish, very Downton Abbey-esque. I'm so glad we went and will definitely return next time I'm in the bay during spring or summer when the gardens are in bloom. By the way, I unfortunately found out about Filoli too late to get the coveted evening tickets, which allows guests to really enjoy the house and gardens lit up in holiday lights. So, if you ever go around Christmas time, I definitely recommend buying tickets online as soon as possible. In the evening, my mom, husband, and I hopped into an Uber and journeyed to Oakland to finally visit my niece, her husband, and Calby in their newish home. What the <laughs> Calby, what is it? What is oh my it? god! <laughs> For dinner, we ordered delicious Korean fried chicken and dumpling soup. And we had this incredible milk tea tiramisu my niece made for dessert. The next day, my husband and I went into San Francisco where we met with our good friends Laura and Jeffrey at the social study for a quick catch up before dinner. My husband and I then walked across the street for the famous State Bird Provisions. The restaurant is highly recommended and so I was pretty excited that I was able to score reservations. While there are a la carte options, the experience is notable for having dim sum style service. And although service was excellent and the food was high quality, especially the garlic bread of my dreams, I have to say we were overall a little underwhelmed. We decided to end our little date night with a trip to the Fairmont Hotel to see its famous gingerbread house. Yes, made of real gingerbread. and to get tiki drinks at the Tonga Room. While I pride myself on being a forever Bay Area girly, I again am ashamed to admit that I'd never gone to the Tonga Room despite living in the heart of the city for seven years. We had such a great time, mainly because the house band was not only incredibly talented, but also because they perform bangers. You almost never hear from your typical cover band. Also, the girl next to us lost her coat to the pool, and we were pretty entertained watching the manager fish it out.
So I was supposed to go to Oakland today to visit a friend, but my husband is down with a cold. I hope it's a cold. And so I've gone to our neighboring town to get a bunch of green juices, a bunch of ginger shots, all the stuff that helped me get through my cold last week. So here's hoping that he'll be up and running soon. But yeah. Anyways. Well, looks like the husband has COVID. So with one of us down for the count, we just ordered delivery from Suavecito Birria and Tacos, and my mom and I watched teleserials on the Filipino channel while my husband quarantined himself in another room. Hey, it's Rachel, and I'm just jumping in to explain myself, essentially. So as you'll see, this vlog has pretty much abruptly ended with my husband catching COVID and me just trying to isolate him and isolate my elderly mother from him so that they did not he did not pass it to her and thankfully he did not everything went well we returned back to the east coast and got home very safely um but we did spend a lot of the rest of the time just resting and you know kind of treating ourselves to wellness time and that meant watching a lot of tv reading books and yeah taking care of the doggy but I then had to return back to work and it got very busy very quickly, um, even though we're only two weeks in. And so I just got, you know, really consumed with that. I also have been busy trying to come back to a routine, going back to the gym, um, eating well, because that's what you do in the new year. And then also we have a little visitor. And uh, while we were gone, a little mouse came through and has essentially decided that this is his home now. And I think we are about to just give it to him. But in any event, I've been spending a lot of free time just working out with the exterminators on like a plan and what to do. We don't want to hurt him or hurt the family because I think there actually is more than one. Um, but yeah, so got to get the exterminator to seal holes and yeah, just make sure that my neighbors are not affected and the building is safe. So again, lots of stuff that has been happening that just is not very interesting at all. Um, plus it's January and you know, there's something about this month that really just kind of just stays quiet. I do have to take down all the Christmas decorations. So anyways, I'll leave it up because this is Vlogmas part two. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry that this is quite late, but you know, if you have been with me so far and if you've been liking it here, thanks so much. Like, comment. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Um, and I'm hoping that you had a wonderful holiday season. Happy New Year. Let's make 2024 better. So yeah. Okay. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.